All right, welcome to my Chapter 5 Season 3 Tier 100 skin gameplay and review. So as you can see, and as you should be aware, it's none other than Megalodon. Now, first of all, I got to point out that the name is absolutely awesome. Probably heard that name before, Megalodon, because it's a huge shark from way, way, way back when. I love researching about the Megalodon. It's one of the scariest sharks of all time. And if I remember correctly, they said most people agree that the size of the Megalodon was about the length of two school buses, which is like 65 feet. Can you imagine a shark as big as two school buses combined swimming at you? It would be absolutely terrifying. And the fact that they named this guy after that is just incredible. So this is definitely a unique tier 100 skin. A lot of people say it's great and some people say it's terrible. So I'm going to try to find out who is correct. So obviously it's page 13 and page 14 on the battle pass. And then there are some accessories for him locked in the bonus rewards. Now, because of that, I'm not quite high enough level to unlock his secondary style. So I'll do a separate review on that. So let's take a look at everything we get. And then I'll show you on my review map and some in-game footage. Now, obviously most battle pass characters come with pretty much everything. We've got a glider, a wrap, a contrail, a back bling, everything you need for a full combo is here. So that's a plus right away. Like I said, he does have a secondary style. It's called Oasis Megalodon. But again, I will review that separately. The one we're looking at is just called the default Megalodon. So his normal default stage is a little bland. I saw a lot of complaints about that. And the number one complaint about this skin is that he's bulky. And that's true. He is a bulky skin. I feel like this may be one of the bulkiest tier 100 skins we've ever had. I know we had Carnage a while back. He was kind of bulky as well. Nobody seemed to mind then, so I'm not sure why people are freaking out this time. So he fits the theme of the season quite nicely. Obviously, he's got that nitro pumping through his veins there or wherever that actually goes. Looks like it kind of goes into the back bling as well. He's got the creepy Mad Max mask going on. Oh, that's where it goes right into his mouth. So that's terrifying as well. He's got the orange glowing eyes. But other than the nitro flowing through him, the color scheme is just very lackluster. There's just some weird shades of rusty gray. His hair is even whitish gray. And then he's got that off shade of blue, I guess that is. I don't even know what color that is. To me, it looks teal blue, but in game, I'm sure it's going to look completely different. But then he has a secondary style called Nitro Fusion Megalodon. And you can get to that by a built-in transformation emote, which is phenomenal. And he definitely adds a little more color scheme to him. So his hair turns from that gray to this flaming orange. I love it. I want to say the nitro gets a little more. Yeah, the nitro is way, way more on fire. And it's a little more animated for sure. And he just has a lot of red-orange color schemes flowing through him. And it looks like that thing on his chest is a little more open. You can see it looks like red shotgun shells. But I don't know. I think those are tubes as well. So if you'd like to be a low key skin, you can do this one. But if you like a little more flavor, so to speak, then you can definitely do this one and you're a lot more brighter. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really a big fan of his back bling. It looks like some kind of engine with the combustible parts going up and down. Now, it does say reactive. So I'm kind of curious how it's reactive because it looks like it's animated at all times. There's smoke coming out of it as well. I'm sure it does something upon an limb, but we'll find out. Pickaxe looks pretty good. It's called Don's Dominator. Very nice nitro fueled pickaxe. Secondary style is white and blue, just like everything else. Splash looks amazing. I'm hoping the contrail's nice too. We'll find out. Speaking of contrails, we've got the nitro smog. Nice orange and black smoke with some awesome, almost Super Saiyan lightning sparks. I love that. And then the glider's where it's at. The mobile Megalodon. Again, referencing the super, super old shark. Love this. That's going to look awesome in game. Can't wait to see that. The wrap is pretty sweet as well. So I'm not going to trigger it here in the locker because it always glitches out. But it's got this nice nitro animation. And I believe it lights up a furious orange, which is beautiful. Can't wait to see that in game. I'll show it on the wrap skin as well. So that's everything you get. And remember, he does have a secondary style for pretty much everything. And it's this gold and blue. But I will do that separately. Okay, so first of all, let's check out the glider. Again, the mobile Megalodon. Okay, so it's a little smaller than I anticipated. Let's check the deploy one more time. And it has a motorcycle sound effect. Comes flying in. 
the tail extends, the jets come on. So it's got a nice color scheme with the nitro. Let's go forward. Okay, there comes the almost orangish smog. Let's go to the left. And the right. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not everything I thought it would be. But it definitely fits the overall theme. I bet this would look pretty sweet at night too with all the orange. Here's the contrail. We'll check the contrail out better in a real match because it's kind of hard to see on my map. But overall, the glider's not bad. Obviously, it's a surfing glider, nothing that you hold on to. Okay, so yes, the skin is a little bulky, but I don't think it's that bad. I'm kind of curious about the shoulder pads because they are a little wide, but there's no protrusions or anything on there. We'll check out the aim down sights in a second. The back bling is definitely animated. So I'm very curious how this is reactive. I thought that was gonna be the reactivity, how all the engine parts kinda are in motion, but no, that happens all the time. How about the pickaxe? Ooh, very heavy duty sound effect. It's almost like an echoey sound. That's pretty clean. Let's see if there's a contrail. That's an absolutely beautiful contrail. So if you're not a fan of my channel, I love orange. So I'm a little biased with all this orange on the skin, but that is phenomenal. That's the color orange I really appreciate right there. Let's see if the splash is the same. Yes, absolutely perfect. It kind of looks like an explosion of lava as well. I'm sure that's the nitro coming out of there, but that's really clean. Let's take a look at the dark. Wow, so the glow is perfect all around. You can see the back bling's kind of red though. Contrail is just as beautiful in the dark as it is during the day. Same for the splash, very nice. Unless you don't like orange, then you're probably not gonna be as impressed as I am. Let's take a look from the front on the skin. Wow, so creepy mask, nice illumination there. Same thing for his eyes, same color scheme all around. It's a little darker orange than the nitro, which is kind of cool. Let's turn the light back on and take a look at the front. Okay, so it doesn't really glow that much during the day. The eyes do, but the mouth is not as noticeable. It's still pretty sweet though. Kind of reminds me of a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. All right, so let's check out the aim down sights. Here we go. Okay, so definitely a little bulky with the shoulder pad. You can't even see the left one. The right one is so bulky that the left side isn't even apparent, but the nitro looks pretty sweet. Nice animation when you're aimed in. You can't really see much of his mask or his face at all because of that shoulder pad. The wrap looks pretty clean. Nice animation again. It reminds me of my favorite wrap ever, which is Burning Glow. Same color scheme, just the entire weapon is that color, not like you see here, which is half of it. Now it is reactive. So then it gets even more like the Burning Glow wrap. But again, not the whole thing. So that's not too bad. Let's try the pistol. Ooh, so that's even worse. You can barely see your weapon. Now, keep in mind, it's not hindering your actual aim. You can see your aim just fine. It's just, if you like to look at your weapon or your wrap, yeah, it's kinda blocked with this skin. So that could frustrate some people. For shotgun, this one's a little better. You get more field of view going on here, but still a bit bulky all around. Here's the Warforged assault rifle. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people don't mind this tight aim down sights like this, but for other people it really messes them up. But it's definitely bulky, there's no denying that. Let me show the wrap in the dark though because it does look phenomenal. Check that out. I love that. So the wrap is definitely a nine or 10 out of 10 for me. Very clean. Now let's not forget the best part about this skin. He comes with an emote called Get Nitrode. And this will quite literally transform you into the second style. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm a huge fan of any skin that can transform. In my opinion, every skin that has multiple styles should be able to access those in a game. So it's unfortunate that only select few skins such as this can do that. I feel like it should be a common theme for every skin to have that, but they don't. Here's how you revert back. So he kind of looks a little more spidery when you transform. I mean the tubes, watch when we transform again. So it's a beautiful animation, nice sound effects, but the tubes kind of remind me of a spider. They look like spider legs, don't they? They get a little more spindly. Yeah, they're all over the place actually. So in terms of that, I think he looks way more clean with the default style, 
Again, take a look at the nitro flowing tubes right now, kind of look like spider legs. And when we revert back, they're just way more smooth. It's almost like managing your wires for a computer set. Right there, they're nice and clean and everything's tied together properly. And then you've got the wild setup where all the wires are just out and not tucked in and not corralled properly. I don't know, that's just what it reminds me of. Something about this kind of throws me off a little bit. Again, though, it does look quite nice. Okay, so aim down size is pretty much the same, but you actually lose the shoulder pads and it doesn't change it that much at all. I thought for sure taking those off would change it, but everything seems the same in terms of your view. Now, obviously it's way more colorful, way more animated, and to me it looks way better, but yeah, it's pretty much the same as with the shoulder pads on. Still got a limited field of view of your weapon. Pretty clean all around though. Let's take a look from the front with this style. Okay, yeah, just a little different. You know, I was kind of ripping on the default style in the locker, but I actually might like that better than this one. Ooh, he kind of glows a reddish pink on his skin. So a lot of color schemes going on here. The hair is phenomenal though. Wow, check that out. It's like a fire orange Super Saiyan. Love that. Yeah, if you hate the color orange though, you're probably gonna hate this skin, or at least this style. All right, let me get my son in here. We'll see how this back bling is reactive. I'm very curious as to what it does. Okay, here comes Mr. Jackers right here, wearing his favorite skin in the whole wide world. By the way, we bought this game and Jack has been playing it a lot. How fun is it, Jack? I'm talking about very Lethal fun. Company, by the way. He said very fun. Okay, how would you rate my skin here, Jack? What do you think of this tier 100 skin? Is it good, it's bad? pretty nice. Pretty nice? You don't think it's too bulky? Eh. Okay. So... Let me try the pickaxe first. Doesn't look like it has any special thing here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna focus on the back playing. Final hit. Hmm. I didn't see the back playing do anything. So that's interesting. Okay, so it must not be a limbs. Maybe do a dance. Do an emote that's not copyrighted. No, I don't see it doing anything to that either. Doesn't seem to do anything there. Let me do this one. No, not okay. So let me just damage you a minute. Hold still. I'm watching the back bling while I No, okay, shoot me a few times very slowly. Very slow. Well, how the heck is this react? Okay, hit me again. I don't see it doing anything. Uh, keep going. Let's see if maybe it's only white health. One more. Okay, maybe one more. No, nope, low health didn't do anything either. What is this? Let's sprint, I guess. Do they all go in? No, well, they're still moving when I sprint. Jackie, how is this reactive? Okay, maybe it's in the secondary style. Let's transform. Because the back bling doesn't really change. All right, let me hip fire you real quick. Again, we're watching the back bling. Yeah, I didn't notice nothing there. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna hop into a match. The only other things I can think of are night and day, where it doesn't trigger on my map, or maybe getting knocked. I just tried to look up online and nobody has posted about it, so I have no idea. It says it's reactive, so it's gotta do something. Okay, so here is the contrail, which actually looks surprisingly nice. Look at that orange and the orange lightning too. That's a 10 out of 10 contrail for me. Very clean. Coupled with the awesome Megalodon glider. Yeah, this skin is definitely growing on me. Looks like we're almost at the nighttime effect too. So we land right away so we can see if maybe the backlings reacts at the night somehow. Okay, so the sun just went down. I'm watching the back bling. Pop a mini here, see if that does anything. No. Little parts are just chugging along regardless of what I do. Okay, here comes the nighttime. I'm not noticing anything here. I wonder if it plays something copyrighted. I'm gonna turn my music on in a minute and then get in a limb. 
Okay, so it's the nighttime effect. I didn't see anything happen. Interesting. All right, here we go. This one should do it. Oh, it looks about normal, doesn't it? Maybe when we get revived? Well... I honestly have no idea. Let me get an elimination, and now that we turn copyright music on, maybe that's it, but we'll see. See anyone? Wait, there's a guy right there. Let's see, this might be a bot. If it is, don't shoot him. Okay, I'm 99% sure there's a bot. Here we go. Checking the back bling out. We get the limb here. No, nothing. I have no idea. I cannot figure out how this is reactive. It's not doing anything upon getting in a limb. So it's not often I am absolutely stumped, but I cannot figure this back bling out. As you saw, I tried getting knocked, I tried night and day, I tried opening a chest, emoting, eliminations, taking damage, dealing damage. This does absolutely nothing. And like I said, normally you can see the reactivity right here on the screen. So I'm willing to bet that it's not reactive, but if you know how it's reactive, let me know in the comments. Okay, so here he is without the back bling. You know who this reminds me of now that I see him without a backlink? It kind of reminds me of the Cable skin. Remember that skin? Just the color scheme, it's almost blue and orange. Bulky too. So he doesn't look too bad without it. Let's see what he looks like without it on the secondary style. With the spindly spider tubes. Okay, well he's got that circular... I don't even know what that is. So maybe on this style the backlink does fit and look more appropriate, but on that first style, I think he looks pretty clean and arguably a little better without it. All right, now let me show you the wrap on the wrap skin. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the wrap skin. And because it is reactive when you swing your pickaxe or shoot your weapon, it will activate. So it's kind of hard to see the reactivity when you swing your pickaxe, but when you shoot your weapon, it should be way noticeable. Let's see. Obviously the faster you shoot, the more bright it lights up. If you just shoot slow, it's just for a few seconds, but if you hold it down, it's much longer. Let's look in the dark. There you go. Definitely see it better. So this is real clean. I love this wrap. It's such a great looking wrap all around on most, if not all weapons. Pretty cool. So there you go. That is the tier 100 Megalodon. Remember he does have the gold and blue other style, which I'll do a separate review on. So overall, I would give this a seven out of 10. And the reason it's not anything higher than that, number one, the back bling, can't find the reactivity. Number two, I don't really like the back bling. And number three, he's a little bulky. Everything else though, amazing. Contrail, one of the best contrails I've ever seen in the game. As for the wrap, again, love the color orange. So obviously it's way up there on my tier list because it's beautifully orange. I'm a huge fan of sharks and the glider quite literally is a representation of the Megalodon shark, which is what his name means as well. Pickaxe is heavy duty. It's got a nice sound effect. It's got a beautiful contrail and splash. Not to mention he comes with a built-in transformation emote, which can easily get you to the secondary style and then back again to the first. So he's got all the necessities for a top tier 100 skin, minus those three drawbacks. And again, if you like the back bling, then there's really only one drawback. He's a little bulky. So I tried to do a little research and from what I've read, most people are saying this is the best Chapter 5 Tier 100 skin. Now remember, we've only had three total, this one being number three. So it's not like that's a huge compliment, but everyone's saying he's better than the one in Season 1 and Season 2, which of course is Hades. Now is he the best Tier 100 skin of all time? Absolutely not. But like I said, he's got all the things necessary to make this one of the better Tier 100 skins in the game. But that all goes out the window if you don't like bulky skins. He's not too bulky, but it's definitely noticeable. So there you go, I may be a little biased because of that orange color scheme, but let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Is this one of the better tier 100 skins? Would you ever run this skin after this season? Or is it just gonna sit in your locker and collect dust? Let me know in the comments. There you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.